Hello everybody, are you able to hear me clearly? All right, all right. So yeah, I'll mute, uh, I'll mute uh, you Anusha. If you have any question, please feel free to unmute or type. All right, so okay. Are you able to hear me clearly, Anusha and others? Yes? Hi Anisha, are you there? Are you able to hear me? Hello. Yes. Hi. Yes. Is my voice clearly audible to you? Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, please uh, ask questions by typing. That will be better. Okay. Because other people will be joining soon. All right. And okay. we will continue our discussion in the usual manner. So do you have any questions for me before we start? No. Okay. Okay. Did you happen to have a look the at chat, the... uh, chat window is not open still it would be open because you are organizer so you should see the chat okay okay, okay. thank you okay so yes uh, and yes also please start the recording in case my system crashes at least we have a backup i it is already recording great great and all right so the the recording has been started so whatever uh, screen or the voice is going on will be recorded and all right so are you able to see this course page on big data analytics so yes. did you did you get a chance to have a look at the quizzes there are something called quiz here we have put some quizzes uh, recently and so please go through these uh, two quizzes all right to assess yourself, please go through the quiz. All right. Great. So moving ahead. So, so far we have discussed various aspects of, let me just go through the, go through the discussion from the beginning. All right. So in the beginning, we discussed about what is big data and then and why big data and other reasoning behind big data. So in very simple words, why do we need distributed computing? And rest of the things which we are discussing is how of how of the distributed computing. So all right, let me. So we, in the beginning, we went through the various aspects of the computing, distributed computing, parallel computing, and then uh, what are the things that become bottleneck and how are the, those bottlenecks being overcome by the way of various... Uh, hi, Sahab. All right. Great. So, yes. So there is uh, one more person uh, named Sahab in the batch. So that there will be a total of uh, four, four attendees in this class. All right. Now, all right. Now, in the second session, which was yesterday, we talked about two very important aspects of HDFS. Okay. So we went through what is Hadoop. I mean, and then we went through what is HDFS. And we also went through the the, the reasoning behind HDFS and afterwards after HDFS we had gone quickly through the uh, through the computing okay 
so I'm wondering where is the uh, all right so then we are about to start our all right I don't know where it is gone all right here we go let's see All right, good. So now today we are going to discuss the map reduce part of it. We talked about yarn, and we also yeah. All right. So uh, yesterday we talked about how do the job tracker and task tracker work. All right. So th there's something called job tracker, and there are other nodes which are called task trackers we assign work to the job tracker and that gets passed on to the task trackers by the job tracker so job tracker assigns the work to various task tracker observes the task trackers in case somebody goes down it reassigns that work to somebody else and then get it done all right so here let me just rearrange things a bit in the on manner which I had planned to all right so earlier in in case of Hadoop 1.0 the model of computing was only map reduce you could only write program in maps and reduces okay and the the, the only that was the only way you could do computing but now in Hadoop 2.0 a big change happened a big change happened and that change was the map reduce and yarn became the two separate things okay while yarn can execute anything you give it anything to do it will get it done through the task trackers okay while map reduce is just one of the ways of doing things okay under under the hood the operating system remains yarn operating system in terms of thing getting things executed all right so all right so in case of map reduce in case of map earlier in Hadoop 1.0 there was only one way so map reduce as well as job tracker task tracker everything was in a single component therefore it was not leaving the space for new innovation the only way people were able to write programs was map reduce and map reduce was obviously not sufficient for every kind of computing and that's when in Hadoop 2.0 the paradigm and the machinery were separated MapReduce is just one component as of today while yarn remains generic for all kinds of computing and because of this splitting of yarn from MapReduce yarn became the close yarn became the general cluster manager for everybody okay now because of yarn as of today the things that run on yarn is not only map reduce but other things such as the biggest innovation of today's time is spark spark is a really really fast computing mechanism and you have edge base you have storm you have this you have giraffe you have so it opened the door for all kinds of works instead of only map reduce so this is where this is where Hadoop 2.0 happened and yarn became came into picture okay so this is where this is where it opened the door for all of the things so as of today we have yarn and we have map reduce and we have all these components so in case somebody likes to write 
code with respect to Spark, they can go ahead and the things will get done on the same computer using Yarn. Any questions at this point of time? No questions? Shahab and Anusha? All right, all right. There are only two reasons why you will not have questions. Either I am really, really bad teacher or I'm really, really great teacher. So, which I believe is neither the case. So, you must be having questions. All right. Great. Great. All right. So, yes. I'm happy that you are finding it amazing, Sahab. Let's go ahead. Now, so, so this was a very quick overview of what is MapReduce. Uh, not, I mean, we haven't gotten into MapReduce. We have just talk, talked so far about YAN, which is the cluster resource manager. Inside YAN, you have these, the, the names of components have changed. The things which we talked earlier were a little different, but uh, the names uh, have a little bit changed, but the mo mechanism is is exactly similar so let me let me just pull out one more diagram i've missed one diagram and i would like to correct that diagram all right just give me a second and that will be okay Actually, to keep it very, very simple, we have removed a couple of parts from it, but I'm feeling that I should uh, give more description to it. That's why I'm getting into my Hadoop course. All right, I'll just uh, take your one more minute and things will be okay. Just give me one minute. I will. I'm just getting some of the diagram right, and that should do the job. All right. All right, good. So, as part of our our yarn engine, you have one master node which takes the work from you, which gets the work done from the task tracker everywhere. So, I hope everybody got the picture of when we talked. About